Oh, Aeneas said, how would you convince people to play this game because they're deterred by the existence of Johnny? My friend and I had this discussion one day and was wondering how I could get him started. It seems if one's character is not good, it's very hard to play. We tend to play Eunice more. Um, so, that's a good question. I think there's a certain amount of trust that you need to have when it comes to stuff like tears. And in Guilty Gear in particular, like, you can just, you can look at top eights at tournaments. It's not all Johnny's. Like, I, I'm pretty sure Frosty Faustings had, uh, a, had, had eight different characters in top eight. And like 14 different characters in top 16. Um, like, Johnny is tough. Part of the reason Johnny is tough is because he has really good confirms. So like, if, if you're playing against a Johnny that, that has put in the work, you're gonna feel like you're eating a lot of shit, right? Um, yeah, in fact, the one would-be Johnny player, Peppery Splash, switched to Venom. So like, Johnny is a pain in the ass, but he's also kind of a meme, right? He's a thing that Guilty Gear players in particular love to complain about, because we love to complain about bad matchups just like any other fighting game player. Um, Yeah, exactly. Omito could play whoever, right? So yeah, like, in my opinion, in Guilty Gear, like, there, there's certainly matchups. Yo, what up, Jen? Good to see you, homie. Uh, Jen, one of these days we'll play, we'll play Tekken on stream. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you have to have... Like, one of the things that I trust in an Arc System Works game is, is that the tiers are not fucking ridiculous. And in Guilty Gear in particular, like, every character is going to feel fucking broken at times. That's just how they work. The, the characters' power levels in these games are just amped up to fucking 11,000. Um, so yeah, if you weren't complaining about Johnny, you'd have someone else to complain about. I complain about literally everyone in this game, especially if they're beating me. Um... The big thing is just to realize that that doesn't... It's not the character that gets in the way of your ability to beat another person. Right? Like, it's you. You get good enough, you can, you can win with anyone. Mojo Mood, thanks for the follow, homie. Um, so, I, w I wonder if Omito just playing Johnny could be a Marvel, beat a Marvel 3 team. Uh, so I think Johnny would, would probably get rushed the fuck down, and that's actually Johnny's weakness in Guilty Gear, right? Is, uh, up close, his buttons are super slow. So if you can close the gap and keep pressure on, he has a hard time. He has to, he doesn't have any reversals outside of Super or Blitz. So, uh, you're, yo, what up, Swan? I want to see some of your, your anti-chip prep. Um, but yeah. Like, Johnny dies up close, and Johnny can die from far away if, if you got the right character for zoning. Um, yeah, and if Johnny whiffs something, even if you don't punish it, that's you often have enough time to run in and block. Hell yeah. Shout out to you supporting your locals, Swan. Um, so, I think, I think Johnny would get his ass rushed down to Marvel 3. However, he's got big ass buttons. If you kept those buttons big in, in a Marvel 3 version of Johnny, uh, he's getting happy birthdays for days. So, like, if you get level 3 Misfinder, you can basically happy birthday on reaction. Like, any assist call. Which is pretty fucking nice. So, I wouldn't, I wouldn't count Johnny out of a Marvel 3 match. 